Do you guys remember when Paul Caparro came and we actually bought this saltwater tank? My first saltwater tank I ever had. Well, uh, yeah, it, uh, it needs a little work. And Noah is actually taking it upon himself to start taking care of his tank, but he needs to learn. So who's he gonna learn from? Meet Chuck. You guys don't know who Chuck is, but Chuck is actually my COO. So he's my chief operating officer of all our businesses, including running the aquarium that we're about to do. He's a big fish guy. I've been keeping fish for over 20 years, and I've been in the public zoo and aquarium industry for the past five years. I'm so excited to be working with Brian and Lori. Now it's time for the money shot. So what we're gonna do, head to the store. Careful, these stairs are slippery. <laughs> He's got the buckets. All right, Chuck, I got this. Do you think this will work good for us? It's gonna work great. This is your filter floss. Yes, You're gonna exactly. cut this, put it in. That's what I was just This is gonna help take you. the fish poop out, all that good stuff. This one here, this is gonna have your activated carbon in it, so it's gonna help take out the odors, and it's gonna filter it even more. So the water's gonna flow through this, and it's gonna go back into your tank. Okay, all life is made from carbon, so this will be good. <laughs> look at some fish. So we're gonna actually look at some fish, because we wanna add a couple of fish to the tank. The thing that's nice now, of course, is that even if we get something that's gonna get a little bit big for that tank, if it can stay in there for for say six or eight months, it can eventually move over to the new aquarium with giant tank. Gives us a little bit more flexibility about what we might be able to put in that tank today. Look at this, look at this. He's like in half. He's, well, he's got like these phalanges. Mustache that does stuff. A cleaner mustache. I have uh, the reef crystal water mixing back there for you. So just a couple minutes while I'll get all set for you. All right, Chuck, so what kind of stuff can I put in this tank? I'm trying to find something good. Your tank's about 29 gallons, so we gotta stick with some smaller stuff. But the cool thing is, you're building an aquarium across the street, so you can get some smaller stuff that's gonna get big and we just move it across the street when it outgrows your tank. Yeah. No tank police for you. No. That's a dog face puffer fish. Dog face puffer? Yep, totally I cool no fish. So they uh, vertebrae, they eat coral, so that's what their teeth are like that for. They just sit there and munch on coral, snails, that kind of thing all day long. I love Chuck. He's like so if you want dog face puffer. This one, is this, uh, 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 oh, this I one? love that one. I want them. Okay, they are considered reef safe with caution because they can pick a coral, but for the most part, they're pretty safe. Same with the flame, the flame angel. Oh, but this guy just caught my bicolor angel. Oh, that guy is so cool. I love it. Okay, so we might let's work on that one. Whoa, I love this one. Yeah, dude. Wow. Zebra boy, you. I would, I would. Let's get your tank stable and where you're good with it and everything, get your parameters good? Absolutely. Dude. Oh, are you serious? This guy is pretty cool. We have a couple ideas. Oh my goodness, what is this, dude? <laughs> Those are the best ideas. That's what I want. The pajamas are the same. Guy. Gotta get this guy in the top, in the back, the cowfish. I love cowfish. Gotta get the cowfish. Cowfish are cool. And then we're thinking maybe this guy, the, the yellow one. Beautiful. How many, I mean, is this too much or is it, we're okay? We're okay, I mean, your tank's been up for a long time, so it, it should be fine. But just keep an eye on this guy if you end up getting him. Just make sure he's getting enough food. They're not very aggressive fish, so these other guys, they might try and get all the food before him. So you may have to do like a little bit of spot feeding with him and stuff. I'll throw some arctopods in here. Whenever I sell these guys, I like to make sure they eat first. Okay. They can be a little finicky. Let me throw some arctopods in there for him, get okay. him going, and then while he's eating those, I'll get started on the other guys for you. That's what I was gonna say. Fastest moving guys. So it shouldn't be a problem. Not at all. I'm just glad to see he's eating for ya. Oh, that's awesome, dude. And thank you for letting us do that. Yeah, no problem at all. Right. I like the slugs. Ring it up. You know, it's super exciting. You know, the tank that we've had downstairs, although we need a little bit of maintenance done on it, it's really been getting established over the last several months. Now it's at that point where we can start adding corals and different fish to it and start actually establishing an ecosystem in there. And it's just so cool. It's it's exciting again. You know, I think this, this little tank here and eventually here in the next six, eight months, we're going to be adding fish to gigantic enclosures at the new aquarium. This is kind of the, uh, the, the trial run. Again, we're no experts, so we're not going to be taking care of all the fish at the aquarium. We're going to have experts that are doing that marine biologists and stuff like that but the more we learn the better off we are so it's been pretty cool to come here and just kind of splurge and get a bunch of cool stuff this one yep sweets that yeah. one gotcha yeah that's it sounds good super excited guys been wanting to take care of this tank for a while properly so we got some fish we got some coral and now let's pick out an anemone the one that's catching my eye is the one that clowns in that looks so crazy. It'll multiply your tanks. You'll have a whole bunch of them. Oh, and sick. Yeah, start giving out to other tanks and everything. Yeah, what do you think about this one? Rose bubble. It's cool. Did I, I like did it. Did I say that right? 
Yep. Rose bubble. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think the clowns will love it. Especially with the long tips on there with those rose bubbles, they go absolutely crazy for He's right in that little hole in there. Are you guys okay with bringing the rock home? Yeah. Got a new rock, boys. <laughs> Big old haul yeah. for you. <laughs> Guys are costing me some money today. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Let's go back to the shop and set this up. It's too small, your back seat can't even get in it. Alright guys, be safe. Buckets are really far back there. I guess you're gonna have to climb in and get him, huh? Yes, Dad's gonna have to climb in and get him. <laughs> That's gonna be so stupid. Really get back there, huh? Don't close me. Damn, man. dude, you already felt it, huh? Yeah. Uh, back at you with my friends from HelloFresh. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. We are gonna cook something really yummy today, a one-pan cheesy beef tortilla melt. Wow, that sounds good. Flavor is in full bloom here at HelloFresh. Enjoy the taste of spring with chef-curated recipes featuring ripe seasonal ingredients delivered right to your door. HelloFresh does more than just delicious dinners. Not only can you take your pick from 40 weekly recipes, but you can choose from over 100 items to round out your order, from snacks and easy lunches to desserts and pantry necessities. Everything arrives in one box on a delivery day you choose. No more scouring the grocery store for that one ingredient to complete your recipe. HelloFresh takes away all the hassles by delivering fresh pre-portioned ingredients so you have exactly what you need and helps you cut down on food waste. And HelloFresh makes dinner time a snap with delicious easy options that will please everyone at your table. From fit and wholesome to prescatarium to veggie, they have a meal plan that suits your lifestyle. Plus, you can swap out proteins and sides to your liking. No worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh is foolproof recipe arrives pre-portioned and easy to prepare within a few steps. HelloFresh cares about quality. That's why their seasonal ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and travel from farm to your home in less than seven days so you know they'll be fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com, use promo code BRIANB16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Now my favorite time of the entire thing, tasting it. That's pretty freaking good. You know even better? A little dip. Hmm, that is amazing. Make sure to go over to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code BRIANB16 and get 16 free meals plus free shipping. So what do we gotta do first? We're gonna clean all this coralline algae off the glass. We're gonna get all that up in the water column. Sand wash a gravel vac on all this. Try and get that really clean and white, get all that out. Put the new fresh water in. And after we put the new fresh salt water in, then we're gonna start acclimating some fish. After that, I got just the tool. Oh Lord. You want to oh my, do you goodness. like like the fake stuff in here? Oh, this is attached yeah, to it. It's all fake. Ugh. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Finally. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of chilling out. My guy Mike here, and uh, Noah's doing all the work, so this is perfect. That's not even like a mark, but I wasn't expecting that. You guys are a bunch of clowns. Stop clowning around. Oh yeah, they're starting to use teeth now, boy. They said, bro, I had enough of you. Headache hold you all this. You wanna eat? Are you hungry? Yeah, I am a little hungry. Actually. What do you want? I want sushi. No what? Guys, isn't this fun? Can I can I steal my bucket back? Wait, no, we need that. No. Yeah. yeah. We need that. This? Oh, we got new stuff? We got a bunch of new stuff. Take a look. Cowfish? That's like a puffer fish. They're, they're similar. Ah, it's like a blue tank. Whoa. Are these just like more hermit crabs? Does those seem to do well, so well? Sure. But I need my bucket real quick. No. You have so many buckets. I don't know where all my buckets are. I think these are actually your buckets. No, those ones came from there, right? I don't know, I have my bucket. Alright guys, one last spot. Come on. Oh my goodness. I got my sleeve wet. Well done. Filter floss media out of here. Okay. Stuff that's been catching all your fish poop. Roger that. We're gonna pull that out, throw it away. We're gonna cut some new ones. And we're gonna put some filter floss in there so we can help catch all this stuff that's floating around right now. <laughs> Look at that chunky monkey. Should I squeeze it? No. 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 Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> testing you. Now you're gonna wanna just kind of 
shove that it. back down in there. So how often do I change these? When you do your water change, change this one. So once a week. Once a week? Once a week on this one. Golly, man. You got me doing all that work. And then on the carbon one, you're going to want to change it once a month. Figure this out without breaking anything. Oh, wow, the whole piece goes. Okay. So when you put that in, you'll hear it, it should kind of like sizzle. And that's the activated carbon. There you go. That's how you do it. Let's just focus on this corner. You gotta get the yeah, siphon get the going. Siphon try it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You Not, wanna, you wanna no, pull what? Sand up. So if it starts pulling it up like that, just kind of pinch it. There you go. Okay. So we're gonna change until that's about full. Try and stay in this area. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, Learning something new. Having fun. One bucket, that's all I want you to do once a week. That's really easy. Keep it easy for you. Okay. Bro, you got this. <laughs> there ain't gotta be a better way than this. There's gotta be a better oh, way. A, yeah, whatever. You're like trying to dunk the whole bucket in there. <laughs> that's not what I was doing. I was trying to do what you were doing. You just didn't let it play out all the way. Time to plug the heater back in, plug the return pump back in. Now it's time to start acclimating some fish. The water level is rising. Enjoy the show. I know, this is the best video I've done so far. I just sit here watching. If the store ties it right, you should just be able to, you know, they didn't tie it right. <laughs> oh. Wow. They feel like magnets. Oh. <laughs> How's the show, Dad? You're in the splash zone. <laughs> that was that was freaking awesome. So silly. I can't even believe you did that. I oh, that was believe that. That's a crazy. You were shocked. No, that was a new player. You're holding half of the bag, squeezing the top, dude. I was holding the bag. Oops. You just kind of dry it out. Sorry, a bit. Lori. He's like a little uh, booger. I like booger. Booger Excellent. is so good. You can just put him right in there, and you can put him if like you want right to put him there. in the front. Yeah, yeah right yeah. by Gabby's head. Tall piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So you can see me there. Just fill up a cup about this like half, every five, seven minutes. Acclimation. This is my first coral. I'm really excited. I've never glued a coral before. This is a monopora coral. So this one's going to need a little bit higher light. So we want to put it just a little bit higher up. What we'll do is we're going to put some super glue on this one. Put a good amount. It's going to start curing. You go to where you want to put it. We're going to put it somewhere right here. This is the fun part. We actually get the fish in there. That yeah. cowfish is amazing. What's his name again? Booger. Booger. I love it. That's a good name, huh? Wolverine. Be a little bit of a rough ride for a second. Take a deep breath. Booger! Boogie! Oh yeah! Oh, Look at all the fish! Like it's come to life. So let's glue the rest of the corals on here. The tank cleared up. That one chuck glued on. It looks. So let's see if we can do any better. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna pick a spot. Should I put it on the same or across? I put it in a different spot to let him grow. Dunk in, do a little flippity dippity, and stick it down like that. That looked a lot better than what Chuck did. The last piece it's got a little tentacles. Chuckerson really put a lot on there. <laughs> That might not have been good. Blew it to the back of a snail. <laughs> think I gave enough room. Chuck? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully it worked out. I love Booger. Look at little Booger there. He's just the cutest little guy. There's nothing like coming downstairs in the morning, looking at this cool tank and all the special fishies and anemones that surviving in here. It's a really cool thing I look forward to coming to every day. So now that I have the right information to maintain this tank properly, I'm excited to see how far this thing goes. So as you can see, now that it's cleared up, we've got the corals on there, we've got all the little cleaning animals, we've got the fish are cruising around, everyone looks really cool. Look at, I figured we had to step up our game when it comes to aquariums, right? Can't we have a terrible aquarium when we're trying to open up a public aquarium? Super happy that this aquarium looks absolutely ridiculous. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next Next one. Thank you guys for this meal. Dude, you're eating like Nemo's brother, man. Gosh, that kind of looks like booger.